Four years ago, our Athlete of the Week decided not to follow his older brothers to Jefferson High School. Samis Kofe wanted to make a name for himself at Roosevelt, and he's done that and a whole lot more. His football team just made the final eight, and he's a champion in the classroom. Here's Dan Christofferson. When you trace the good vibrations emanating from the Roosevelt football team, don't start with the heroic feats of brilliance between the lines, the nine-game winning streak on this run to the state quarterfinal. Go inside a quiet Roosevelt study hall where athletes do the work and are challenged to think big. Look to the biggest man on campus, senior Samis Kofe, who leads by example. Like Coach Swain says, we have two team goals. is uh, graduate from Roosevelt High School, and our number two team goal is a uh, class team with unity. It's called a student-athlete, not athlete-student, so we put academics first. To hear that, Christian Swain knows he's done more for his football players than teaching them how to win. But winning that first playoff game in 18 years is a symbol for one remarkable turnaround in North Portland. That Roosevelt's a place of excellence. This is a place that has a lot of stereotypes placed on it, but when you really get here and you spend time here, these kids are amazing. And they look up to Kofi, number 51, the fierce lineman everybody calls Tonga. Youngest of 10 children, the first to attend his neighborhood school, determined to raise the bar. I think we have the most supportive adults and students in all of Oregon. I think is our time. It's time for us to grow and show people what we're really capable of. They are screaming that pride in the post-victory haka dance that tells the story. The new one will scare us. Like you, sh you should have a reason to fear us. Of these Rough Riders emerging. In North Portland, Dan Christopherson, Point Six News.